Alert Weather with meteorologist John Hickey. Morning friends, 515 right now on a Saturday morning, waking up to clouds, waking up to some localized dense fog. Some of that could be in the form of ice fog too, so beware of a few slippery spots first thing here on your Saturday. As you enjoy that first cup of hot coffee, tea, hot chocolate, maybe an iced coffee this morning. Hey, if you're from New England, iced coffee year round. It's a thing, I'm telling you. Temperatures this morning starts you off with what's going on in Plattsburgh, 33 to 37 as you look to Burlington at 36 degrees. For you down in Lebanon, the fog locally dense this morning, so it's one of those deals where you got the uh, high beams off, but the headlights will probably stay on through a lot of the day as fog's likely to hang in there at least through about noontime. What we're looking at here, it's a, a map of the high temperatures so far here in the month of November. Notice it's another month here with a lot of red days, save this week where we had a lot of below average temperatures, but it's another month where temperatures are running above average. You have to go back all the way to April to find a month as a whole where the temperatures averaged below average. It's certainly been a while. It's been another very warm year, which has also been in a series of very warm years here in the immediate Champlain Valley. Your day ahead, lots of clouds this morning, got some fog too, some light mixed rain and snow on the way for this afternoon, continuing into the evening. Highs today in the lower half of the 40s. What you can expect in your town, find the town nearest you. High temperatures today, places like Lake Placid, about 35 degrees. Again, 40 for in Plattsburgh, 40 as well. As you look to E-Town, a little light mix of rain and snow around this morning. High temperature Burlington today, 41 degrees. Upper 30s as you go to the Northeast Kingdom with that threat for light mix where basically everybody looks like the best bet for any kind of snow accumulation will be across the higher terrain. That includes Killington World Cup race going on today. First runs at 930. They're doing the giant slalom race today. And then 1230 will be the uh, second run. And you can watch the second run, not live. It's going to be taped. But you can see that second run for the women's giant slalom right here on NBC5 at 3 o'clock today. So if that is of interest to you, hang in there. You have something to look forward to at 3 o'clock today. First alert storm tracker, lots of clouds. There's that little mixed rain and snow event that's sliding in our general direction. We'll take a little while to get here, so it's just generally cloudy for the next couple of hours. But eventually, uh, we will be tracking the rain and snow for you this afternoon. We can do that with Futurecast. Check it out. Lots of gray here on the map. That's the cloud cover. You can see some of the blues in there, too. That's a little light snow. Tomorrow, less active than today in terms of less snow and rain but it's still not going to be the prettiest looking day. A few flurries around temperatures tomorrow cooler than today from the low 40s today to the mid and upper 30s for highs as we look ahead towards your day tomorrow. Here's the five day plus two little light mix today. A couple of snow showers and flurries in the offering for your Sunday. If you want some sunshine, you'll have to look carefully, but you will find at least a little bit Monday. 37 degrees that day, warmer for the middle of the week with rain showers around, which isn't good news for the ski areas that are opening up. Lots of them too, uh, really getting things underway. Good start to the ski season, if that's your thing. I will be looking for that sun. That fog's nothing to mess around with. Yeah, no, the fog is bad news, but of course the good news, the sunshine Monday. We'll be looking for it. Yeah.